Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I would like to show you how you can make a really awesome lunch bag. And you can see here the design that I chose. You can of course customize this. It has an inside and an outside. And it is partly made out of waxed fabric. So I wanted to make it this way so that you can put stuff inside and then you can just roll it up um, according to the amount um, you have inside and how full it is and you can just take it with you. So by using wax fabric, you can clean it much more easily and it doesn't make a mess. So if you would like to see how you can do this really quickly and easily, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so first off, you need some layered fabric, as I call it, or waxed fabric or anything else. So something that can withstand um, liquids and mushy stuff. So yeah, I have here two kinds. The one side is waxed and the other doesn't have to be, but you can make it as well. You can do two different ones, two different fabrics or two of the same kind. That's pretty much up to you. So here you see the flamingo one and the pink polka dot one. And yeah, that's what I chose for today. Apart from that, you're also going to need some clothes pins, then some matching yarn and some fabric scissors. So the prep is going to be super simple. So we're doing basically the doubled version or the same thing in the both types of fabric. So first of all, I'm going to start with the flamingo fabric, the waxed fabric. So yeah, we're going to fold it in half this way. So in the width, it should be folded like this. And then the width of your bag in the end is completely up to you. So here, I'm not going to tell you any sizes because that's pretty much completely um, the same regardless of the size that you choose. And yeah, then we're going to unfold this like this and we're going to take the same sized um, piece of the inside fabric. And yeah, um, of course, everything I do for the one, the flamingo one is the same that I'm going to do for the polka dot one. So let's get started with the one first. Okay. So I'll show you this on the outside piece, but of course it's going to be the same for the inside piece, just like I said. So yeah, um, here I just wanted to make sure that the flamingos are looking in the right direction, that they're not kind of sideways. So yeah, we're going to fold it pretty side on pretty side so that you basically see the inside of the fabric. So you're not going to be able to see what's going to be on the outside later. So that's here on the inside. And yeah, we're going to do this in the width like this, and then we're going to close up this side here, then the other side as well. And here on top, we're going to leave it open because we do want it to have a bad shape. So yeah, the same thing we're going to do with the polka dot fabric then. And yeah, so you're again going to fold it in its width, and then you're going to do the exact same stitch here on the bottom and on the side. So after you do this, you should have two baggies basically. And what I did now is fix my corners a little bit. So I just cut off the excess fabric on the outside um, of the stitch or of the corner. And I did this with every corner. That way you're going to have really neat results in the end when you turn it inside out because you're not going to have anything in the way. So yeah, now what we want to do is take our outside piece, our outside bag, and we're going to turn it inside out or actually turn it the right way around. So now that we did this, we're going to basically push the outside bag or piece into the inside baggie. So what you want to do is just basically leave this one as it is and then just push the outside one in. I also recommend that you take care where your stitches are because if you align those stitches, everything else is going to align as well. And then just push it all the way to the inside 
um, take your time, make sure everything's nice and neat, and then align your stitches that you have on the inside. And then you can take your clothespins and just keep everything in place that way and pin it up. So I'm not using pins as we usually do because I don't wanna um, basically punch any holes that I don't need to in the wax fabric so that I can keep it really waterproof. So as I said, your guide is basically gonna be um, the stitching here on the side and then everything else is just gonna fall into place as you go along the edge. So when you stitch these up, you do want to leave a little opening somewhere on top here. So you're not gonna close it off completely so that you can turn it inside out. So after you did this, um, you can basically turn it inside out already through the little opening that you have. So the smaller it is, the more difficult it's gonna be and the more time it's gonna take. So you can make a bigger one and then do it really quickly or, or make a smaller one and just take your time with it so that you don't rip any stitches. Either way, we're gonna close it after we turn this inside out. Okay, you guys, so you can see here that I made sure that my stitch is on the very edge on the very top here. And what I did is just use clothespins again to keep everything in place so that it's not um, kind of slipping like this to the inside or the outside. So I do want it really neat on here and the clothespins make that possible, of course. So yeah, now the opening that you see here, um, we want to close up with a regular straight stitch on top. So we're just gonna go over it basically, and then what you can do is just go over this um, whole part, so over the opening. Yeah, make sure everything is nicely aligned so that it's equal as the rest of the edges. And um, if you would like, you can of course continue going all around to have a stitch all over the top section. That's also gonna make it a little bit less puffy and it's gonna keep everything in place. So this is optional, but you, can do it and I do recommend. So basically go as close to the top edge as you possibly can and just go all around because it's gonna look so much better that way. And yeah, that way you of course close the opening as well at the same time and you get a really neat top section of your baggie. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. So let's do that really quickly and then I'll show you what we have. So you guys, your lunch bag is done already and now what you can do is do a velcro on top, you can do a button with a little band that goes around it, or you can just roll it up like this and then keep it um, closed that way. So that's completely up to you depending on what you want to use it for. Um, but yeah, there are many different options what you can do. You can even do a zipper if you would like something a little bit more complicated and if you have a little bit more experience. But yeah, I just wanted to keep it simple so that you can do this even if you're a very, very beginner and would like to practice a little bit. So yeah. Um, now what you can also do is fix the bottom corners as well. So you can have it kind of like stand up and you can do this very easily. So you basically take the bottom corner and you do a stitch kind of across the corner here, across this little triangle that builds there. And that way you can kind of um, build a little base on the bottom that it can stand on and then you can have it upright as well if this is something you are looking for. But yeah. What I did with this one, if you're using wax fabric on the inside and outside, you can basically turn it inside out. That way you can basically have two different styled baggies in one. 
So you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to post any comments or questions you might have below the video. If you would like to see more from our channel, feel free to click on the subscribe button and that way you'll always stay updated when we post something new. See you next time. Bye!